computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Testing one, two. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Come on, internet. Where my camera at? There it is. All right. Hello. Good morning, Chris's. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, comic deal. Turtle power. That's right. Cowabunga, dude. That's right. That's right. Uh. Let me turn my phone off before I forget about it. Uh, just got an email saying I'm live on my YouTube channel, so that is good. Really good. I guess this is all working. All right. Are we good? I can see. I can hear. Can I color today? Let's find out. Uh, hello, Autumn. Hello, Jason. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So, uh... Hello, my name is Kurt. I am a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is uh, today is Wednesday, and this is the day that I normally do these. So I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, this is drawn. Uh, today's little little fun project was drawn by a, a Mr. Gavin Gidry. Who, dang it, he's here. Nobody say anything. He's no, I'm kidding. Um, hey, how's it going, Donnie? First, you don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do at all. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, we'll do him first because he's the best one. He's the best. This won't dar start any arguments at all today. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, no, a while back, Gavin had posted all four of these on Twitter separately. And um, I had an idea, and I don't know if it's a good idea, but I put them all on one page. And I'm sorry, Gavin, but I removed three of your signatures from this. <laughs> so I decided that it wasn't best to have Gavin 2020 on here four times. I hope you don't mind. Um, we can adjust the position of that to wherever it needs to go. Um, so uh, Donnie's the only total print I have done. I actually did. I don't know if I'll be able to find this. I did, I did a, a Donnie drawing. Hold on one second. Let me see.
It didn't work. <laughs> no, I've got a print I did of Donnie somewhere years ago. When I, when I first started doing cons, like the very first one, I was like, well, I got to have one print that I, that I did. And I drew a, a, a Donatello, but I can't find it. I'll have to find it later. You wore dis your disruptor pants. Dude, these are my, these are 24 hours a day pants right here. These are good for all occasions. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone anywhere can confirm Donnie's the best. That's a ridiculous notion. All true fans know it's Raphael. Maybe, maybe so. I like Raphael too. I like Raphael too. All right. So anyway, I had an idea. I'm going to show you guys this sketch and then I'm going to decide if I use it later. But I, I did, uh, where's it at? I did this, okay? Because I was thinking, what if we did each one in like a, a slightly different uh, lighting scheme, you know? But not something that's so different that they don't look like they all, you know, belong together. So I don't know. I'm thinking about... Uh, trying to make this sort of thing work on each one. So each one will have different angles, different things. I, I don't know. I'm going to see how it looks. I, I, this might be a, a terrible idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to see what happens. But I don't know if I'm going to leave this or not. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to find out. <laughs> All right. Let's get started over here, though. All right. So I'm going to make so everybody knows what's going on. I've got some flats down here, okay? And... uh and uh, Jason, did you flat this? I think you did. I think Jason flatted this for me. And uh, our, our, our turtles are color coded already. Yeah, really, really nice. So, uh, so anyway, um, we're going to make the flats layer the reference layer. And so everybody understands what's happening here. When I click the wand on any of the other layers, it's going to pick from the flats layer. That's what the reference layers do. And I don't think, uh, there might be a way to do this in Photoshop with like a script or an action or some sort of trickery or something, but I've never quite figured out a good way to do it. So, uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Those should be their natural colors. How do you mean? What do you mean by that? Do we want to, so I'm thinking that their chest and their chest are all gonna be the same exact color. And their skin is gonna be based on the color of the old toys because that's the correct way in my opinion. <laughs> Where is, why is my camera so, what is going on? My camera's off to one side or I'm leaning or what is, what is happening? There we go. Those should be their natural colors. It could be interesting. <laughs> I don't think today. We're going to go a little bit more, uh, a little more traditional, I think. Um, where do we start? Let's see. Uh, looks like a good yellow. Good morning, color folks. Hey, Skip, how's it going? Uh, and I, the one thing I remember about Donnie's toy is he was remarkably brown. You know what I mean? Like he was just way browner. He was almost brown. He was closer to brown than green. And I always thought that was interesting about him. I'm not going to be able to see these differences until I see them next to each other. <laughs> Because these greens on their own don't really, uh, like, that looks green until I put green on on Leonardo in a second. And then you're going to go, wait, what happened? Um, and I'm also only going to do their mask in uh, in the different colors. I'm going to do their uh, do their other stuff all the same color, I think. That's always been my favorite design, um, personally. We'll do these slightly different color. You know, and actually, if I put my wand to refer to other layers, I don't actually have to use the wand. I should probably have done that already. <laughs> I 
maybe in a Schumacher film. Ooh, I don't want to see a Joel Schumacher Ninja Turtles. No, I do not. I do not want that. I only need two more issues to complete the Mirage Volume 1 series. I don't know. See, I went to, um, by the way, the pads wrap all the way around the arm. Oh, I see it now. I got gotcha. you. Uh, uh, Donnie is going with the... Um, so we're doing that? Is that what you're saying is happening? We're doing the uh, the Allen Iverson sleeve? The, the, the pads wrap all around it. The flats, then the flat, his what? Subject verb, Gavin. Subject verb, subject verb. Wait, what? No, I'm kidding. Uh, the flat has, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Is that not right? Flat has them. Flat has them as skin on the inside. <laughs> I have, <coughs> I have no idea what you're saying. Zero. I'm going to keep moving and come back to your comment because I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, they should be brown like the elbow pad. This the this inside uh, this part. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> no. Oh, that's funny. Like that. Okay. I think I think we might have it now. makes sense i told you it's just the alan iverson uh the alan iverson look there you go <laughs> yeah i don't know i like this artist stuff just hanging down here tell me what to do i don't know no i'm kidding i'm kidding it's fine um all right let's see if that's if he's that color here then that means that leo I'm trying to do this from memory, and then we're going to see how how close I am because I am trying to see if I how how much I can trust my memory here. I got to go to work, so I have to watch tonight while at my desk. Keep up the good work, no problem. Just remember that only channel members get access to old streams. I don't want you to be disappointed when you click on this link later and it says this content is for members only because it's certainly. Uh, we'll be saying that. Sorry. Um, so yeah, sign up for a YouTube membership, or uh, if you want to, um, you know, enjoy that. Fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, you see what I mean? Like, like Donnie is almost like like super, super like olive colored almost. I don't, know, and I think that might be getting there, but we'll see. We're gonna do all of their chest the same color. Maybe not quite that. I'm gonna take this down slightly. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll do all the we'll do all the this stuff the same color. All right. So what are uh, so oh great artist Gavin. What what do you <laughs> I am friends with Gavin by the way. In case you guys haven't figured this out yet. We live like he lives an hour from me and I don't hate him. I'm just pretending to. Um Gavin, what do you um, what do you want to do on this on the wrist things? What what is your what is your thoughts on uh, on that? Yeah, you weren't gonna get a say in the skin. I'll be honest with you. I was just gonna overwrite. If you were like, well, actually, they're all the same color in this. I'd have been like, uh, Gavin is now muted for two hours and just I don't, I don't know what happened. Gavin decided to leave. He just disappeared. <laughs> I really, I need a hat or a haircut, one or the other. This is not working. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'll let you guess which one I'm going to get. There we go. 
There we go. Now I have to worry about my stupid haircut that I need. <laughs> the wizard hat is too hot. I think it's like some kind of fake wool or something, you know? So I can't I can't do with the wizard hat. It's too hot. Black, dark gray, or blue? Hmm. I'll think about that. <laughs> uh and let's see. All of this is all tape, it looks like. I'm going to do that, the same color as that. And for now, I'm going to make these things the same color as these other things. And we'll see what happens. Maybe a little bit darker. And then, should some of this be skin? Is this like knuckle gloves? What's a... Uh... It's actually basically a gauntlet that covers the top of his hand and forearm with a single strap around the wrist. But the top of his hand and forearm should be the same color. Okay, so we got that part. So should this be like fingers coming through? Is that what this is? Like that? Or no? Or is it just, they just so have, no, they should not. Okay. So much pressure, jeez. All right, what else do we have here? We got those. The top of his hand should not be green. Okay. Okay. I just got all four of the OG toy remakes from Walmart. I forgot how they were all different colors. Also, the Walmart in my area has them on clearance. FYI, sorry, promise not a Walmart ad. <laughs> because that's what we all love to do. Top of his hand and his forearm should match his gear. So you're saying this should be brown, like that? I'm, I'm so confused. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm about to, uh, I'm just, uh, if I stop consulting with you, Gavin, don't be offended. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Um, let's do these like this. It's a full guard on his arm with tape underneath. Okay, I believe you. I 100% believe you. All right, let's do that then. And maybe this. Okay, as long as all that's different colors, it should be fine. So how's that? Is that is that cool? Did I do it right? <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Alright, so relative to Leo. Donnie was like a what color was was uh uh let's see he was sort of a let me see if I can remember this um Raph is pretty saturated green and he's like a he's like a forest color green right he's not that way he's that way we're getting there. He's not that blue though. So he's in there. Is he less saturated than that or more saturated than that? He's somewhere in there. He does lean a little bluish almost, but closer to blue than brown. Like that maybe? Something like that? And 
I'm assuming the ends of these are actually a different color. We'll make them that color. I was pretty much over the T M N T by the time they went color. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get back on the wagon, Jason. Now I've actually like I haven't watched much of the new cartoon and stuff. They look <clears throat> the little bit that I've seen seems really cool. I, I'm definitely like I grew up with the turtles, and I like the turtles a lot. I've got I've got my original toys somewhere. I think they're in a little box. I said I wasn't going to cheat, but I guess I am. <laughs> and I'm a little off on these colors, at least on Leo's. Hold on. Uh, please, uh, please note you can look to me for, uh, for color uh, information and knowledge when it comes to coloring comic books and art. Do not look at me when it comes to color... Uh, as part of a fashion sense at all. You don't want to do that. Just in case anybody was, you know, obviously it's like he has an amazing fashion sense, but this is, this is an original original. They're missing everything. Okay. I think I may have a, a uh, I may have a sword in there or something, but here's the original eighties played with versions that are not worth anything probably now, but, uh, Anyway, you can see just how different all the colors were, right? And even though they're out of focus. Uh, come on, focus, focus, focus. But anyway, they're all different colors. And uh, yeah, Donnie is even more brown than I remember. He's very brown. And I'm sorry I can't get this thing to focus worth a damn. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm in the ballpark. I'm close. I'm close, but move those over there line arm is top notch yeah Gavin's awesome uh, the flats on Mike you're dead on Leo's fingers should be exposed like his thumb well I, I did that a second ago and you said not to do it all right so let me try that again maybe maybe there was a delay and you were answering an earlier question so I really wanted to do that so I'm glad that that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Let me get, let me look at these colors again too, by the way, because I really want to push these all the way to, uh, let's see, what do we have here? So he is even more brown than I remember. He's like here. Donnie or Leo is n not as saturated as I remember. What am I? What am I thinking about with him? I don't know. I swore he was more saturated than that, but he is also leaning toward that color a little bit. Actually, they're just in order by saturation level. <laughs> Pretty much, that's it. You just keep turning the saturation up and make them more green. Yeah, so Donnie is not quite that saturated, and then Leo is. And then we turn him up. And he's lighter also. And maybe not quite that saturated. Something like that. We're getting there. We're, get, we're in the ballpark. This is going to be fun to light later. And I'm also thinking, do we go? Because they're they're thing. They're, these are as orange as orange can be. They're more like that than yellow. And then that, and that, and that. All right. So what's going on? Uh, let me let me not guess this time. Uh, what what is what is his gloves? What are his gloves? Just just are they light, dark? 
What's happening here? His forearm shouldn't be skin color. Well, don't draw it just like his skin then, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can't see anything. You gotta tell me. Tell me when I forget to do that. Skater pads and fingerless gloves. From his view, it looks like Kirk's trying to be the fifth turtle. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. So this should be, uh, not that. That? I don't really like what color these things are. Yes, there you go. Okay. All righty. I think we have finally satisfied Gavin, and that is the point of this stream. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. It would be nothing to fix. It's no big deal. All right. And uh, I guess we're going to make these things. Oh, let's do that. Turn that back on. And then these will do like that, maybe. And let's see. The shell. Whoops. Shell. Show. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm afraid to find out what 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 this what's going on on these forearms. Let's see if we can do this in less than half an hour. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. For production, 300, 500, 600. What do you prefer? I, I it does not matter to me. Whatever they send me is what I color. Uh, a lot of it is 300. A lot of it is. 400 a lot of it is 600 it just depends on the project um if note to self if i'm ever coloring anything gavin has drawn i don't have him in the room <laughs> true big true big true okay his elbow pads are like donnie's all right what, what's going on over here okay so we got those those things all right so we'll do that and i mean that and then his fingers are green and i'll 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 do his uh nails different color i i tell you they uh they <laughs> don't make the player uh he's got tape all the way down mma style gloves i i do like that idea i like that a lot that that's very fitting very very fitting I want to grab that same color from over there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, eyes and teeth. Just brighten them up a little bit. Um, Kurt thought this was going to be a simple chill color stream. I did. I thought I was going to come on and just go. I tried to use their builds and gear to represent it. Yeah, you can tell, dude. I'm, I'm totally messing with you. You can tell that uh, you put a lot of thought into what they would wear. Like, I, I, I see, like, you know, him, like, Mike wearing as little as possible, basically. Like, you know, it makes sense. It's also why Rap doesn't have bandana tails. Oh, of course. Yeah, because they'd get pulled if he was. Yeah, I got you. I got you, dude. We're all on the same page. So, I'm trying to figure out if I should... Let's turn this off for a second. So, I'm trying to figure out if I... Can I make this work? Or are we going to just, like, drop white behind this and not worry about it? That That's what I need to figure out right now. <laughs> that That is currently what I need to figure out. I'm into it. Does this look dumb? Like before I get started, I don't trust my judgment on this background at all. Um, I tried to do it in a way that we could chop them up also. You know what I mean? So when this is done, they bleed in, into each other a little bit, but not enough to make a difference. And so when it's done, we could also chop this up into like four pieces and back to their original form. 
Would well, you guys like the 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 different backgrounds ideas, or is it overkill? Thoughts, concerns, makes sense. Autumn loves it. All right, good. Because I want to try to do this. I've never tried to do something like this before. So, um. This is as much an uh, uh, exercise for me <laughs> than it is like for y'all. So, um, but anyway, I thought it would be cool to, to kind of play around with different um, lighting uh, in the same way that Gavin has sort of tuned their costumes, their personality to sort of try to do that with the lighting. I think that would be sort of an interesting challenge um, for different rendering techniques. I, I did think about that, but but I, I, I do want this to be coherent when it's done. I want it to all fit together as one thing, you know? So, uh, I, the, the, the one time I forgot to explain my layer stack at the beginning of the stream. Let me explain this real quick. So, um, first off, we have the inks layer, which is all on one layer, and it's on a transparent layer. Um... I import the, the lines in, and then there's a button in Clip Studio uh, do, 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 somewhere in here that says convert brightness to opacity. I have a button for it, so I never click find it this way. Um, where is it? Uh, convert brightness to opacity. Yeah, so under edit, convert brightness to opacity, that will put your line drawing on a transparent layer. Or... I just took a button and made a button for that right there. So I can do that anytime I want to. Uh, that's on a transparent layer. This base is just the base colors you just saw me pick. Okay, so they're on their own layer on top. Uh, the background sketch is all on one layer. Uh, this was all just painted behind it all at one time. Um, you know, and you can see like my thought was uh, cool lines, techie stuff, and then like you know Raphael being the leader and you know whatever uh and then you know obviously Michelangelo is a party guy so there's like lights and then uh, I actually put a little bit of texture some smoke like uh, complimentary red and green like trying to make that as intense looking as possible for Mr. Raphael and then there is a layer of flats below that which is actually what I'm choosing my flats from uh that is set as a reference layer so no matter what, I can grab things from this layer, even if I'm not on that layer. And then at the very bottom is just uh, the silhouettes. So if I very quickly want to, you know, grab all of, you know, say Michelangelo or whatever, I can do that without having to, you know, select a bunch of crap. Uh, you could also just draw a line around it and then select, like deselect the background. That works also. But it's something my flatter sets up anyway. But anyway, that's, that's the... So right now, are all my colors on one layer? Yes, but they will not stay that way. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call, I'm going to try to organize this today so this isn't a total train wreck. And we're going to call this Shadows. And what do I want to start with on this? So On him, I, th I don't think I want to do anything too incredibly dramatic shadow-wise. Uh, I want to do, like, I think a, maybe, like, a, a rim light along the left side and keep the rest of it pretty straightforward. And him, I want to do, like, backlit. And then he's... I'll have to figure out what to do with him and his party lights. And then uh, we'll do some, like, dramatic, like, underlighting or something on him, maybe. That, that's what I'm leaning toward anyway. So there you go. Hey, Kurt, thanks for the stream. Uh, do you use print safe colors? I saw you picking from a palette gamut earlier. You saw me picking from a palette gamut. When, 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 what was that? I don't... Uh... I, so print, uh, print safe colors, I, I've talked about this quite a bit, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to work in colors that are not that are going to print. <laughs> I did a video on this called, Are You Using Unprintable Colors? Uh, but yeah, I work in RGB, but convert to CMYK at the end. But I, I was not I was not picking from a palette earlier. Uh, 
so I don't know um, what that was. From the color wheel. I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, what do I want to do? We could really paint the hell out of these if we wanted to. Because they're very well built. <laughs> they're very well drawn and well constructed. So I'm trying to think like we could lean like what do we want to do here? I mean we could go like cartoony with the colors. We could go like realistic. We could go like really detailed. As always, what style do you feel like playing in? That is the question, isn't it? Um, hmm. I don't know. For a digital only product, is it important to use CMYK or just keep it RGB? Um, I, I wouldn't separate the two personally. I mean, just because if you ever, ever wanted to print it, it's like you're screwed if you use colors that are RGB only. Like, it's going to look like crap if you're not also careful enough to make sure that they work in the CMYK palette. So, for me, I don't think it's a good idea. But uh, but do, a lot of people do. I mean, don't give me a lot of people do. But it's just not something that I'm I'm into. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I don't know what I want to do on this. I'm just, I'm kind of in a painting mood, so let's just see what happens in, uh, I'm going to start by, uh, putting in some, like, almost like ambient occlusion type shadows, like, not really, like, thinking too much in the way of, like, light or shadow just yet. But but just sort of uh, yeah. Well, it's ambient occlusion. You know, you guys know what that is. Or if you don't, it's it's uh, it's all of the light that is ambient light that is being occluded by like surfaces. And we'll kind of build this up because I I do I do think I want to paint. I want to get painty today. In a painting mood. Uh, either way, I'm putting them on my Twitter profile as a banner or something. I hate when my ambience gets occluded. Yeah, it's just the worst, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I'm, I'm, I'm just doing some, um, these are basically just soft shadows at the moment. And then I'll, I'll figure out what I'm doing with this a little bit later more detail I'm also debating I think I want to just do all of one character instead of trying to uh, do this like across maybe but I don't know whoops And I'm actually not making these little lines perfect on purpose because, you know, he's got the tape on there and little ridges. And if it's not exactly perfect, then that's kind of okay with me, I think. Now, this blue on this orange is probably not going to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to shift this color afterward. I've started doing this sometimes when I realize I, like it doesn't matter what color the shadow is if I can change it because it's on a new layer. So um, 
once I'm done with this, I'm going to shift this a little bit warmer, I think, probably. In that case, you started on the right turtle. Yeah, hopefully so. And I'm thinking, I want to go ahead and put in, I'm going to make, I'm going to make another layer here and I'm going to call this uh, rim white. And And I'm using a hard light uh, mode layer for this because I like how it um, blends colors better than most of the other uh, the, most of the other blending modes. And it's a great shortcut. Praise hard light. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the, the church of hard light. giving me big there's a shit ton of computer stream just off panel vibes yeah that was kind of what i was thinking <laughs> was that he was uh like i was thinking like techie lighting you know so that works out Oh, so uh, how excited are we about Thor Love and Thunder trailer, huh? <laughs> I've got a feeling that movie is going to punch people so hard in the face. with Because if you know, I'm not going to say anything here, but if you know who the villain is and you know who they cast, like, I just, it's like they're playing up that similar tone of fun and warmth and beautiful colors and all those things that they did in Ragnarok. They're just going to smash your face in. I'm afraid that movie is going to be so much. <laughs> but I'm really excited about it. I am super excited about it. Don't even need trailers. You know it's going to rule. Yeah, I know. I know. It is going to rule, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure.
but yeah like i just i love the tone of it and i i was i'm gonna learn to 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 trust hollywood uh steroids or whatever that they did to make um what's her name you guys know her name black swan uh what's her name why well, i can't remember her name all of a sudden uh what's her name somebody will tell me natalie portman thank you she's jacked she's jacked i saw a picture of her on the set and she was jacked that's a 40 year old woman dude like whatever plan they have that's what i need who, who do i hire to get that big she was so small she was like so small like that's what's crazy to me is that is a crazy amount of growth in somebody that size for especially being a woman like it's much harder for women to put on that if this isn't like a sexist thing i'm saying it's much more harder for women to put on that kind of muscle especially at 40 years old so i bet it was awesome like how cool would it be for your job they're like all right look we need you to look like a superhero in eight months that would be so cool but yeah i'm, I'm really looking forward to uh to that I like how Rob McElhaney put it. The secret to getting in that shape is being rich. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I know. It's still amazing. If I'm ever just like, you know, independently wealthy somehow uh, through uh, the lottery is I think that would have to happen. But uh, if I ever just have way, way too much money, you guys, I'm going to disappear for like six months, eight months. I'm going to come back looking like uh, Chris Hemworth. Just, just so you know. I mean, I'm going to go find this guy. I mean, we're basically the same, you know? So I, I just need to tweak a few things. <laughs> I mean, we're, I'm right there. A huge part is a dietitian. It's like any, any time, I mean, diet is always like 90% of getting in shape. It's like 90% what you're eating, 10% how much exercise you're getting. That's the truth. I've learned, I've promised I've learned that. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. You can't out eat like a bad, no, I'm, I said that wrong. You can out eat a good exercise program, but you can't out exercise a bad diet program. Somebody clip that. That's, that's an excellent way of putting that, that put that on a bumper sticker. Uh, that's, that's it right there. You don't have to be rich. Just get hired to start a Marvel film. Exactly. Exactly. You guys, I've, I mean, we have 60,000 subscribers here almost. Maybe we can make a big push, you know? I mean, I don't know who you would cast me as. I don't even want to know who you guys would want to cast me as. It probably is not good. Um, but anyway, I'm, uh, I've, I've made a, whoops. I've made a, uh, a levels adjustment for anybody that doesn't know what's going on there. That was a levels adjustment. And let's see if I can make this look right. horrible in the colors. The lines are great. I'm trying to not screw this up. But yeah, I, I think I want to like layer this up a little bit. A few times and just get a lot of detail maybe maybe we'll see uh potentially stupid question maybe not uh how come the terminator is so hard on the forehead and gets soft so quickly is it just to bring more attention to the face how come the terminator is so hard on the forehead the terminator for the rim light um because um well a lot of rim lights have have hard hard edges like that that just the the angle of the the light is only hitting over there and it's not really wrapping around the front i mean um this is also not completed or anything so keep that in mind <laughs> but yeah um 
least that's how I look at it. I don't know. It's not like there's like a, a super perfect right answer for all this stuff or a wrong answer. It just sort of sometimes it's what looks cool and sometimes it's um you know, realistic. <laughs> Looks cool is good enough reason for me. Thanks. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it might be a little hard right now, but like I'm, I'm not like it's still gonna be like uh, pretty. Uh, what do you call it? Um, it's a relatively hard edge, like uh, you know. But at some point, I probably would have done something like that just to add some more texture to it. Whoops, wrong layer. Uh, somebody asked about the brush. This is uh, a part of uh, Frendon's uh, big uh, big set for uh, Clip Studio. F R E N D E N. He's got like a he's got a big old brush set that I like. But this particular brush, the name of it's right here. I'm mean, going to look it up, but that's the name of the brush. I didn't change the brush just so you guys could find it. <laughs> because I learned a long time ago to stop renaming brushes. Because uh, I have a tendency to uh, rename it to something that is more useful for me. And then I forget where I got it from and where it came from and <laughs> all of that stuff. So uh, I try to... Uh, at least keep uh keep the name the brush names the same so that y'all don't uh get too confused about it Do you remember if it's Frendon's fifteen hundred dollar fifteen hundred dollar fifteen dollar eight hundred plus brush set? I'm almost positive that's it. Let me uh, let me go look at my receipt real quick just to be sure. Uh, Frendon, uh, you bought Frendon's eight hundred plus Clip Studio brushes. Yeah, so and it's fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, that that sounds right. Let me see if I can find a way to. How do I link? just this but isn't my open in app app store play store text me a link what happens if i do that no that's youtube oh there's a share button the share button should take me to uh a usable link. I'm trying here. Let's see. What if we try to tweet it? Will that give us a... There we go. There's a link. Make sure this is it. Yeah, it's... um. Yeah, this is it.
Here, I just linked it. I mean, he might have it on Shopify also. Uh, make sure that's him, <laughs> I guess, is what I would say. Um, but yeah, he might have it in both places. Shopify, Frendon. I just want to make sure he's got an actual... Yeah, he does have a Shopify store too. So yeah, they're, they're both it. They're both it. But yeah, I had someone comment yesterday on YouTube. They're like, which brushes should I get And, it, and in the Frendon set? Guys figure it out figure out what you like and use that don't use what i'm using just because i'm using it like find a brush you like because you like it not because i like it cool <laughs> to me that makes a lot more sense than just oh use these three um what color am i using i'm not using a color right now i'm actually um um only using a levels adjustment And I'm taking some of this down as we get further away. I'm taking some of this away. I don't want it to look, if I do the exact same, you know, thing across all of this, it's going to look a little too flat. And so I don't really want to do that, but no, this is a levels adjustment. And so it's just brightening effectively. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, trying out 800 brushes doesn't sound like my idea of a fun time. Happy to let you do it for me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's that's it. You nailed it. It's like, why do all that work when this colorist already knows the right one? Like, I've always been afraid that I've, I've handheld on my channel a little bit much. But I do draw the line on... Like, I need the exact brush. What are the settings? What are the, how do you, it, it, like, like it's, like it has nothing to do with the with skill set at all. Um, <clears throat> his, uh, this looks a little, maybe a little pink for my taste. I might adjust some of this. I'm just gonna go to the base color and darken a little bit. It really was too pink, I think. Much better. Like it's purp <clears throat> excuse me, like it's purple and not magenta, or should be. Oh, let's see. We use this app in dramatically different ways. <clears throat> Dude, that's everybody. Everybody does something different when they're coloring. I mean, even the way I'm coloring this right now isn't necessarily how I'm going to do the next thing that I color. So, uh, I saw another colorist talking about that the other day. They're like, does anybody else just reinvent the entire wheel every project? And I'm like, thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only idiot that like doesn't layer the same project twice or doesn't weigh, doesn't weigh two different projects the same way twice, I should say. <clears throat> uh, we have to use the same brushes as you. How else will we deepen our parasocial <laughs> relationships? <laughs> Oh, that's exactly, exactly. Oh, this is nice looking so far. Thank you, Renzark. Uh, the levels thing never occurred to me. 
uh it is a great cheat uh it's it's also like easily I, i've never really done videos about it because it's one of those things that like if you only use that as lighting, you're going to have terribly boring lighting. Like, you know, you're effectively just adding white. And if you're not doing something either before or after to tint that lighting in some kind of way, then you just end up with kind of boring looking lighting. Like, I'll be honest. So I will like sort of, you know, disclaimer this with, <laughs> with, with that. Um, but uh but anyway you do you uh i feel like a baby artist for basically just treating my digital art like a digital piece of paper no i i think that's a fine way to be dude like it's it's there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that like i i mean people look at what i'm doing in in clip and think it's complicated or think it's a lot or think whatever. And then, you know, you can see how another colorist works. So what I'm doing looks super simple and you might see another colorist that's working that makes what I do look complicated. <laughs> so like there's such a vast wide range of, of like how people use these apps and how people color and all of that stuff is, um, it varies quite a bit, quite a bit. And here I'm just, I'm looking for like, I'm thinking about the thickness of these uh, little bands here and how in places they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have places like the tops of the bands should catch a little bit of light probably, but the underside shouldn't have as much. So I'm deleting it basically. I'm just switching back and forth with the letter C right now. C is creating a transparency uh, or uh, switching to, you can see it flip back and forth. Color, transparency, color, transparency, color, transparency, back and forth. And so um, when I when I do this with it on, it creates a light. When I do this with it off, it creates a shadow. I keep thinking this project is the one I'll hit upon the magical workflow that I carry forward. I mean, it's not like I totally, you know, reinvent the wheel every project. I really, I, I probably, it's probably a little extreme way to put that, but, but I do, um, it, it tends to look something like this. It ends up being a bunch of layers and, uh, and that's about it. And you can tell like with what, what he's drawn in here, it's like some of these things go over and some go under and I'm, I'm kind of trying to pay attention to that. Like in that little cranny right there where those are overlapping, you're not gonna get a lot of light in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we'll do the same thing over here. Sorry if you're hearing like a popping noise. It's it's my AC uh, in the background is on. Um. We have had all the temperatures this week, uh, it feels like. <laughs> I've not been able to prepare 
or how to dress this week. It's like we've had like 40 degree nights and 80 degree days some days. I don't I don't know what to do with that information. You just have to bring it's tough to plan on what to wear. Br wear layers. I guess that's the trick. Oh, and yeah, and those are American Freedom Units. I don't know what that is in the rest of the world. Sorry. <clears throat> I've never used a levels adjustment for highlight and shadows. Seems like a quicker way to get a dynamic piece. Uh, I don't know if dynamic's the word I would use, but but yeah, it's just it's a quicker way to get lights instead of having to choose a bunch of different lighting colors. Um, but uh, same weather in Tennessee, Mother Nature's drunk. Yeah, like it was... I saw it was snowing at a bunch of places this week um not here <laughs> nowhere near here but I, I did see that that was a thing and is that on that layer yeah on these shadows i'm gonna tilt i meant to do these earlier but i'm gonna warm up these shadows here on his chest because I'm not trying to do like super cool shadows everywhere. That looks about right. Same thing on all this brown stuff, actually, I think. I want to tint all of this uh, way. There we go, a little bit warmer. Cool, cool. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of thinking right now. Uh, all, all, all of this stuff is all... Uh, it's not like this is a workflow I work in a lot, so I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. But I want to tone down some of this. I'm just trying to like, uh, whoops, trying to get the, the uh, I guess the sculpting, the shapes on these things to be a little bit more interesting in the, uh, Cause what I what I did was was pretty loose, and I'm trying to tighten that up some, and have some places where the edges are hard and not just soft edges everywhere, because that tends to look bad to me. If you just use an airbrush all over the place, someone watching right now is like, "Dang, that's all I do is just airbrush everything." It's okay. It's okay. I judge you silently, I promise. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, 80 degrees is still a few years away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 9 to 5 doesn't leave me much time to experiment, so for now I'm figuring out workflows and patterns to help me get through. That's exactly right, Marta. You do what you gotta do. I tried to give Donnie basketball player shoulders. <laughs> There you go. Was he a basketball player? Was that ever one of his hobbies? I feel like I would have known that if that, were, if that was the case. <laughs> but maybe so. I might regret not going and doing all of these at the same time, 
but it would take me forever and it would be boring to watch. I think it would be, it, it, I, wouldn't you guys say it's more fun to just watch one character get completely done on a stream than to watch four characters get 25% done on a stream? I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I usually start with all hard shadows, but after start blending some parts, I can't stop myself and there's no hard edges left. I remember, I remember those days. Yeah, where it's like, I'm just gonna blur this a little bit. And then before long, it's just like, there is no shape left. Like, <laughs> that, you know what it is, what it is, uh, Alessia, is that how you say her name? Uh, I like the name, but um, I, what it is, it's just confidence thing. Like, because if you make like a strong shape, like that requires confidence, you know? And if you don't have confidence, you're like, well, that shape is not, you know, on this shoulder here. It's like, well, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe we do. Maybe, maybe. And then you're like, maybe yourself to death. So a lot of that will come better with time. Like it will come with more time. You'll be good. Um, let's see. I don't want to do a whole lot. Maybe we do like, a, I wonder if, yeah, we do something like this. This has got like some texture to it, but it's not like, oh, I know what to do. Hold on. Let's do that, but let's subtract those shadows so they don't show up in the shadows. And then I'm just going to scuff this up a little bit. Just like that. Happy, happy little scuff marks. Is that too much? Is that not enough? I don't know. Maybe we'll tone it down a little bit down here and I'm just using a soft brush kind of right down the middle like because it would be you know it would, it's not it shouldn't be completely flat you know it should come forward in the middle a little bit I think if I was a turtle that's what it would do all right so, excuse me. So now I want to do some more specular highlights on his skin, and that's really going to help to uh, give us some, some three-dimensionality to it. That's the thing. Uh, I like it for his lanky build, giving him more muscles in strategic spots. Yeah, it works for me. Holding the bow, the bow uh, to target the delts. There you go. Yeah, get those, get those delts going. Um, a personal attack to my anxiety. <laughs> no, definitely not a personal attack. But, but I, I feel that because I've been there, Alessia. I promise. We have all of us have probably been there at some point. All right. Uh, here's what I'm going to do for this. We're going to duplicate this levels adjustment. Now, what this is going to do is you're going to see it brighten everything okay because it's duplicating the effect all right so i don't want the effect everywhere okay like this is a weird amount of contrast against all these things so i'm gonna i'm showing you guys how this works i would normally do this different way but uh, if you uh delete this you can see that the mask is of the layer adjustments affecting everything and if you alt click create a mask it hides all of it does that make sense so we doubled the effect, but we're just not seeing it because of the mask that's on it right now. So what we can do now is get on that mask layer and use this as a even brighter highlight. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Oh, I meant to save this as a PSD file so I could uh or as a clip file so I can an get the animation. I should do that now. Probably. Let's save this as... Let's save it as a PSD so I've got that. But let me save this as a clip file. So at least for the rest of these, I'll, or the rest of the way, I'll have a animation that I can throw in a video later. I can always use the screen recording, but it moves around a lot. And then time lapse record. There we go.
Mm, let's see. How do I want to? I don't think I want to go that small. Let's broaden this out a little bit. Yeah, we'll do, we'll start this way and I'll probably do another, like, do some, uh, what do you call it? Some textury stuff on this too, maybe? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What do you think, Gavin? Is this is this like is this overkill? Is this too much? Does this look bad? What do you think? Obviously, I'm not gonna not everything's gonna get detailed to that level, but the skin especially, I figured I would do some stuff on. But let me know what you think. This is very like this is very superhero-y. Uh, detailed coloring, and I don't trust myself at all. <laughs> Oh man, is this commission art? No, it might. It's just for fun. Yeah, it's just for fun. I like it. All right, cool. Like I, I've I've always wanted to try like like a lot of rendering on your stuff at some point just to like see what it looks like because I feel like uh I, and we talked about this I saw one other colorist and I couldn't remember who it was but I saw one other colorist do like really like fancy rendering on some of your one of your goblin things or something and I just liked it a lot but I don't remember who that was uh Marcio Maniz? Maniz? How do you say that last name? Oh, yeah, I know that guy. That dude is... Dude is really good. Ridiculously good. I came across some of his stuff in Marvel the other day, and I was like, yeah, I like this guy. Like, I just... I like his... I, I feel like we have similar... Not styles, but, like, we... I think we have similar, like, storytelling, you know... Yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have similar, like ideas about storytelling it seems like at least with color i kind of feel that way anyway could be wrong It's always weird to think about drawing something like this and trying to make it work out here. 
because <laughs> I don't need you to know. I don't need this to look good from here. I need this to look good from here. <laughs> That's always a bit of a challenge. I'm doing this on a separate layer so I can completely uh, adjust this and play around with it. But I, I like the idea of these guys having some, some, uh, some texture to it here. And some of this I'm going to dial back because I'm going to overdo it. Are we cool with that? Uh, he colored a cool green goblin of yours. Yeah, uh, it was a little sketch card I posted a photo of. He took it and colored it without me knowing. It came out great. How, how do you feel about that? Like when that happens, like, because I know I get that question a lot from people that are looking for cool art, and and I've I know I've introduced you to uh, your pro skin texture. Yeah, uh, but I, I know I've introduced some people around here to you and. Like, do you have an issue whenever somebody's like, "Hey, I, I, I think this drawing is awesome, and I colored it and sent it to you"? And like, what, 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 to, for you personally, what, what is your preferred uh, method for that? If somebody watching today is like, "Hey, Gavin draws cool stuff. I want to color some of his stuff." Oh, I love it, even if it's amateurs or people learning. Okay, awesome. Well, there you go. Steal all Gavin's art from his Twitter, guys. And uh, no, no, I'm kidding. But no, uh, the the stuff on Twitter. Uh, that that most people post and i know gavin stuff i've seen before like most of these things are, are even if you just get it from twitter and like increase the resolution to 300 and practice like that's like I've, I've done that all the time i do that all the time but that's good to know always uh, reach out ask about high res open to sharing awesome yeah, and, and somebody asked, was it Chris? We were talking about uh, textures the other day and, and like doing like some kind of fur or something and how it looks. And I, I wanted to do this just to show, I, I think this is a good example of the type of skin texture that you don't have to do everywhere <laughs> to make it work. Like he looks like he's covered in scales, at least his head does. You know what I mean? And it's not, it's not even close. Like I've colored like, you know, 10% of his face with scales uh, or with just texture. It's not even scales. Like it's just texture and your brain goes, oh, scales, you know, when you zoom out. So like, I didn't intentionally do this thinking about that, but I just thought about that. Cause we were talking about that just last week or two weeks ago about how you don't have to like slather something in texture to get it to read as having some texture to it because you don't see the texture everywhere anyway, you know? Uh, let's see, uh, I always do that. If I, I do that and post it and tag the artist, yeah. Uh, comic artists pretty much all seem very, comic artists pretty much all seem very copyright liberal, that is, okay. Which is refreshing coming from the music world where cease and desist letters are, I don't speak French. Um, <laughs> that fur lesson carries you a long way. Good, good, good. But because what's happening here, like if you don't understand what's happening here, I want I want to show this real, explain this real quick because it does make a big difference for stuff like this. When I don't want to sit here and do a million scales on these guys either, so I'm not. But if you look at uh, I know I've showed this on stream several times, but textures come up constantly uh, in questions. And I say constantly, often, very, very often. But um, for example, I took this picture of a basketball in my yard, my driveway. So a basketball is covered in little bits of little pebbles, call them scales, call them whatever you want. They're to help you get grip on the ball. So you can see, like, it's very clear. You can see these things very clearly. Uh, here, where is my brush? Right there. So you can see these dots very clearly in this section. You can see them very clearly here. You don't see them quite as much up here. They're there, they're just not as obvious. 
again, the, the contrast isn't quite as high over this way. And the contrast, you can't really make out much in that little area. And you can't make out a whole lot in that area. There's a reason for this, okay? So when you have a texture on something that has a, an actual surface texture, I'm not talking about texture in like wood grain or something where it's just, it looks a certain way, but feels flat. This is actually a texture you can put your hands on and feel. And so you can see where the light's coming from the top down this way. If we're looking at the ball from the side, the light's cutting it across this way, right? So if like, here's the ball, the light's coming down like this. And so right here along this little edge where all of these little bumps are, it's lighting just the top side of those bumps, you know? And so you're getting this really intense texture in the places where the light's hitting the top of the bumps and not hitting the bottom. But once you get through about right here, there's not any light reaching that texture. So, I mean, yeah, you could get in here and draw a little bit of that stuff if you want to, but like, it's, it's effectively invisible, okay? If I do this, you can't see that texture there, you know? Um, and you also can't see it in the place where the sun's reflecting directly off of it because it's kind of washing it all out. The sun is getting into all of the little in-between areas too. And so there's nothing really to separate very much the texture from the surface. So I said all of that to say, when you are coloring something that has a texture to it, if you focus on like highlights and like transitions, you know, um, the transitions from one tone to another, like that's really where you're gonna see most of that texture. And so that's why if you like take like, whatever uh turtle scale texture and like dump over this it's not going to look good because you're going to see it everywhere and that's not how texture works so there's my tangent lesson on texture for probably the fifth time but it's it's an important one <laughs> it's an important one so so what's happening with this is you're really just getting the most reflective little uh scales the ones that are most uh facing the light source and then as they turn away i'm i'm blending them into the rest of it word uh let's see the, the, the classical copyright music uh, i just started learning comics hey keeper how's it going good to see you man um the ball looks familiar yeah you've seen it before uh, where the light hits the texture at an angle. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about, the, effectively what I'm thinking here is there's a light. If you can imagine us, our, our, our the camera, looking onto Donnie's face and that, that line hitting his face and then bouncing out uh, off of his head, that light is going to bounce into the light source or the other way around. The light's coming from the light source off his head into the camera. So... I'm actually visualizing a light in front of him, you know, to his left, to our right, a little bit higher than he is. And that's where all this light's coming from. So it's not, it's why you can't think of light in terms of just left, right, up and down. Like you have to think in all three dimensions when you place a light source. If you just say, oh, it's coming from the right. Now what does that mean? <laughs> is it in front of him? Is it behind him? You know, it's like, it could be anywhere from the right. You know, if you say, oh, it's from the top. Well, it's like, well, that's only telling you so much. Like, so you have to think X, Y, Z, all of them, all the axes, all the axes. I <laughs> uh, bought your course and finished it. Never even heard of flatting. Uh, learned a lot. It was fun. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Uh, I like when you want to see dirt on the floor to clean it and you basically lie down so the sun hits it at just the right angle. Uh, Alessia is highly concerned about dirt on her floor. I don't go to that level, but that is an excellent example. Yes. You know, where, especially if you have a shiny floor, you know, find a place where the light's reflecting on it. You're going to see more stuff there. Yeah. Uh, Dennis accidentally left part of her tool inside my mouth, inside my tooth. And it looks like it stays there. Is what? Dennis actually left a part of her tool inside a mountain. Did that happen? 
What? <laughs> That's crazy. This is Ron Chan's pencil, by the way, uh, on his gum road. It's a free download for anybody asking. <laughs> now, there are exceptions to this. Like, obviously, like this kind of technique is important for comics, especially because uh, everything is on a timeline and everything is, you know, um, uh, on a schedule. I'm just blurring the bottom halves of these a little bit so they don't look so intense. Um, but, um, you know, there are artists, and I'm thinking about, like, does Dave Raposa still do what he used to do? I used to follow him on Instagram 100 years ago. Yeah. I need this as a background anyway. This is a little bit more detail than I'm doing. <laughs> this is Dave Raposa. Y yes, you can see the pores. So I'm not going to quite this level. Um, but, uh, but you can see what he's doing here too. Like there's a lot more, like this darker area is not just this level of detail darker. There's just no detail. Y you get it? Like this will save you a ton of time once you realize that, you know, he's exposing the camera for this, you know, so this is going to get blown out in detail because there's just not enough light there, you know, same thing here, you know, you see all this surface texture, you can literally see every like wrinkle in Leo's forehead, but you don't see that in the shadow part, you know, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do in a much, much, much accelerated, simple format. Um, but yeah, he literally, you can see, and I'm, I'm, I wonder, he's got to be using some kind of like surface skin brush or something. I don't, is it humanly possible to paint that much detail? I don't know. Anyway, that is a, I got I'm going to save that for later. <laughs> uh, but stick that on my background, maybe. The principles apply in any case. Uh, I really like your techniques and skill. Greetings from Turkey. Well, uh, well, thank you very much. Whoops. I'm not doing quite as much on his legs just because they're further down and the detail is not quite as, I don't care to get quite as detail. So I'm kind of overdoing it and then I'm gonna bl blur it slightly. <clears throat> I feel like this could go for like one more Like we could actually go a little darker, I think, in some of the shadows on this. Uh, let's see. Marta, yep, crazy stuff. She sent me another dentist who extracted the tool, but he said potentially more destructive than helpful. He suggests to leave it in there. Um, those are some real-looking fake turtles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this guy is ridiculous. Like, um, his level of detail, I don't know how many hours and hours this takes, but it is... Uh, it's beyond my comprehension. <laughs> it makes me feel very uh, uh, inadequate here. <laughs> I find super detailed stuff boring, though. Uh, I find super detailed stuff for the sake of detail boring. Like, I don't think that was. I, I think that's like, to me, this is really impressive. Like, because he's controlling the level of detail and they look, they don't look, they look hyper realistic. They don't look realistic. They look, it's kind of beyond that point. Um, but if you take some, something like, like, I'm not impressed at all with like, I mean, it's a skill, I guess. I don't, I don't mean to belittle these people, but 
people that do like ultra 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 detailed drawings of photos to me that you just have more patience than everybody else that's <laughs> that's how i look at that uh photographs of real turtles don't count yeah exactly these are real turtles we saw there so but i do find super detailed stuff for the sake of being detailed it's kind of the same way that i feel about big shots of groups of superheroes like there are artists that make their mortgage payments on you know drawings that have 75 x-men in it i don't think any of these things are ever very good pieces of art it's just but fans go nuts for them like fans go insane for detail a lot and i know it doesn't i know not everybody agrees with that but they do like i've seen this in action i've seen this at shows at cons like people just like detail like they're just drawn to lots of detail and lots of contrast so when somebody does something that has a jillion things in it it's like this is great I, they're, they're, it, it gives them like bonus points uh when you have a thousand characters on your page i don't know why it is but the crazy detailed drawings from reference are so boring, but internet eats them up. That's what I mean. Like the internet loves this stuff, loves it. And I, I really don't understand it personally. Um, it's like, it's cool, but to me, you're, you didn't create anything. I don't know. Sorry for making anybody mad today, but <laughs> I just, I cannot see it. All right. What am I doing wrong? There we go. But yeah, there's always like, oh, here's, you know, Morgan Freeman and every pole, you know, uh, every like mole on his face. And it's like, well, I mean, cool, I guess, but it's like obviously a photo. So I, I don't know. Difference between Clip Pro and EX? I have no idea. I don't, I don't use EX. I, it's something to do with animation maybe or, or multiple pages or something, but I, I don't, I don't know. I'm the wrong guy to ask about Clip EX. I don't get it either. We have photos for that now. Exactly. I grew up with artists who could draw things from reference perfectly, but couldn't create anything from scratch on the page. Yeah. I I think I was like, I was very, and I think it was my parents. My, my parents basically like, like the idea of copying anything from reference, it was like, oh, that's cheating. Don't do that. You not really don't do that, but it's like, I feel like I was discouraged from using a lot of references as a kid. And so I, I did draw a lot of things out of my head and it was good because it forced me to learn how to draw from imagination, which I, I never really had an issue with even when I was little. Um, but I can see people that would, um, if it wasn't something you were familiar with. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to get under all of this and do, uh, we're going to call this, uh, more, more shadows. I just, I want to do this on a separate layer so I can easily, uh, change this if I want to, but I think I want to get just not super dark, but I want to get a little bit darker just in some of these these the darkest areas only yeah that helped it's subtle, but it helps. funny over the weekend family members were looking at artists online and judging how good they were by how realistic they were yeah a lot of people do that 
Uh, average people can easily tell the difference between more and less detail, but not much between more and less creative effort. Most artists aren't that impressed. Yeah, I, I think that's probably true. Uh, I really want to say something, but I I knew it would come across as, je as jealous. <laughs> jealous? Be jealous. Feed my ego. Uh, if you can't draw a believable figure without reference, you're not ready, and you're not learning. And you're not learning from reference. Yeah, I think that's true. Like I, I talked about this a few weeks ago, but like I think about guys like Mark Bagley, who drew a lot of Spider Man when I was coming up. There was no way on earth any of his figures were drawn from like a reference photo. It was impossible. Like Spider-Man was putting himself into positions that a human being can't get into. Uh, guys like him, uh, Trad Moore, um, Umberto Ramos, like their characters have character. Like they're not just, like it's, it's really obvious to me in, in, in some cases when, when characters are, when reference photos are used and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of when you can tell. How about that? <laughs> um, uh, Clip Studio or Manga Studio or Photoshop, which one is better? Uh, uh, Manga Studio is the same thing as Clip Studio. It used to be called Manga Studio. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what that means. But you're, oh, you're just asking which one. Oh, Photoshop. It doesn't really matter. Wh whatever you like, buddy. Whatever you like. Um, personally, um, I'm using clip a lot these days, obviously, but, um, I still have to use Photoshop for, uh, print files. So I can't really get away from it. I think that I put a link to the FAQ in the description. I did scroll to the bottom of the, of the, of the, uh, description and you'll see, uh, you'll see a, a more detailed answer on that. Since it just it gets asked a lot, so all right. So I like how this is coming along. I think I want to tint. I want to make an overlay layer. And what color would that be? I'm trying to feel like what color looks, I have no idea what color is going to look good for this light. So I'm going to try something and we'll see what happens. I'm just going to put this a little bit all over and then we're going to dial it back some. This is an, an overlay uh, layer, so it's hitting more of the midtones than any of the values that I'm doing. And I think I actually got it almost right the first time. Yeah, because it's like. None of this red stuff is going to work. And pure green doesn't work. So I think I actually did get it right the first time. <laughs> uh, or close to it. Anyway. But yeah, it just adds a little bit of color variation and subsurface scattering. Like it's super, super subtle. It might even be too much. I don't know. I can turn this down a little bit, maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this art for? Uh, so you guys can ask me questions on YouTube. <laughs> no, it really is just for fun. It's just uh, Gavin's, I don't know if it's a commission or fun or what, but yeah, Gavin posted these on his Twitter and I'm coloring them. Just to, just to color something, learn something. Who knows? Overlay is nice. Yeah, it, does, it makes a big difference. But because what's happening is instead of just having, like this is where like just using these levels adjustments will hurt you because 
if you look at this before like it's a linear move basically you know what i mean we're going from dark yellow <laughs> through brighter yellow to even brighter yellow like it's, it's basically a straight line all right and it's not really how light works <laughs> so by by going and adding a little bit of this overlay then you're also getting that color is shifting like so it's not just staying on that green it's it's shifting a little bit toward yellow and so there's just that little bit of color shift goes a long way um and i want to do the same thing over here i think why is that not coming out so confused maybe this should be on top what is that why isn't that coming out i'm so confused Okay, it's coming out, it's just not doing very much. Is the stream breaking up for anyone else or is it my Wi-Fi? Uh, yeah, I think it's just you, Marta. Sorry. Uh, the real question, where the heck's Rando? You guys want Rando back, huh? <laughs> He'll be happy to hear that. I need I need to ask him uh, to come back. We, we talked about doing it um, again soon, but yeah, we need to. I had a good time. Rando's a friend of mine who came on a little bit, a little while ago. Uh, how much you card charge for coloring a page? Uh, it, it varies considerably depending on what it is I want to say I'm, I'm about as done with this as I think I need to be with this because I've been staring at it for a while now <laughs> and when I'm done with this whole thing I'll like blend their legs down or do something or figure that out uh, I'm not too worried about it right now though I'm trying to decide if I want to, I think I want to pump this up a little bit more. It's a little bit brighter. Just a few little bright spots through there. Lovely. Now we do it again. <laughs> uh, hey, Davey, how's it going? Welcome. All right. So this time uh, I want to do, I think, like a dramatic uh, backlighting situation. And you know, I didn't do anything with his eyes. I just realized. Nothing at all. Or his teeth, for that matter. You can't really see much of them, but I do want to brighten this a little bit. There we go. And uh, this way, at least now I've got a template now, and we'll just keep going down the line. And I'll use the same layers, hopefully. Uh, okay, so backlight. Let's start with selecting all of them. And I'm going to pick the same shadow colors. 
just to keep them consistent and just fill in everything with that color like that and then um, so I guess the question is do I want Do I want to do like he's being lit with a rim light all the way around? Or do I want to do it as if the light is behind him and there is no rim light? Um, this is one thing that I've noticed about a lot of rim lighting. Is that, it, for example, if you were to put a light bulb like directly behind him, like center of his like shell, like that kind of behind him. If the light's coming out like at all of these angles, like you're not going to get like this. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just not going to see it at all. Um, and so I'm 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 debating whether or not I want to leave the. I think I want to leave that edge just like it is, and just color him completely in shadow. Or I've also thought about. There's a couple ways. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I've also thought about only doing. If we did some kind of like, I don't know, really quick sketchy on this, like if we're doing like, like from the top, sort of like this kind of deal, which I'm afraid might look too much like Donatello. I'm just going to backlight them. We're going to do the all backlight. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm always impressed with uh, your attention to detail. Uh, just when I think something is finished, there is no more that could be added. You do another pass and it looks even better. Uh, when I color something, I'm satisfied far too soon. Doug colors. Uh, you're not, are you you're, are you Doug Garbark? Is am I saying that name last name right? I'm just I'm wondering. I used to remember there was a Doug uh, colorist. I haven't thought about. In a while, or is that his name? Because I think you follow me on Twitter. Not you? Okay. Just checking. Different colorist. All right. Where did my chat go? There it is. Well, cool. Anyway, uh, but yeah, like I, I try to, um, I try to uh, leave the tightest detail for last. And that way I'm only using it strategically. You know what I mean? Because otherwise we could get really caught up in, in, you know, detail forever. Um, do I like the shadow color? Do I want to go a little less saturated? I think I do. Yeah, and maybe even a little bit darker. Okay. Lovely. Cowabunga from Spain. <laughs> uh, Cowabunga to you too. How do you... Uh, was like, como se dice uh, cowabunga en español? <laughs> is there a, is there a equivalent? That's funny. All right. <clears throat> Very similar. Cobabunga. Really? <laughs> there is a there is a co cobabunga. Okay. Where does that word even come from? I got to look that up at some point. Um how do I want to do this? I know what I want. I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I don't do this very often. Um, mm, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Coughing fit. Ay, caramba. <laughs> 
Oh, that's awesome. It is awesome. I'm really glad I learned that Cowabunga exists in, <laughs> in Spain. Sorry, I can't talk. <coughs> oh, I don't know. Water went down the wrong pipe. Uh, from now on, you and David Finch are my tutor. Hey, that is... I, I'll take that. That is an excellent, uh, excellent, excellent uh, uh, pair to be a part of. <laughs> so, um... How do I want to do this? All right. So first, I think I actually want to brighten the background a little bit more. Contrast. More and more contrast. And I've got a, a mask on this, uh, what do you call it, uh, on this layer. And I am going to do a little bit of a rim, I think, around the edge. On the sides, but not the top, I think. Like the light is uh, coming kind of around him, like almost like hugging him, sort of. And then in the front... I'll do like a, like a real soft, uh, some kind of soft lighting, I think, on the front. I don't know. Hold on one second. Uh, it's about to catch on in South Louisiana. Coba Bunga. There we go. That is funny. That is very funny. That is not something I expected. <laughs> Hello from Nigeria. Almost missed the stream watching... <laughs> the trial of uh, Johnny Depp. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't been following that one. Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. And I'm really glad about that. Yeah, I've really gone out of my way to and it's and it's hurt a little bit on the business side but for my own personal mental health i have uh i have really really backed off on social media um i think it's um doing a tremendous amount of damage to the world and i am trying to avoid it as much as i possibly can although you still you'll still see me you'll still see me around there but yeah, I just... It's really nice being completely out of the loop on, you know, bullshit celebrity gossip <laughs> and whatever else is going on. Like, for every, every time I went to Twitter, I mean, like, literally every time I went to Twitter, it seems like it was... There was a new drama that day that I didn't even know what everybody was talking about, and I'm... I'm and half half the messages are, you know, talking about something I don't care about or want to even know about. So, yeah, I've really tried to stay away. It's uh, it's been wonderful. <laughs> it works great. Have you seen X? Uh, I did see X uh, because it was an A24 movie. Um, it was pretty, it was good. It was all right. It was like kind of a forgettable hardware, hardware, <laughs> horror movie. Why is that hardware? Uh, forgettable movie. I mean, I, I guess it just, it didn't grab you or anything, but it was like, eh, it was all right. 
I found Discord and similar places are much better for mental health than social media. Yeah, yeah, and I've got a Discord. I'll 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 post it for anybody that um, wants to join up here. Uh, there's some there are a lot of free channels. Uh, there's some that uh, do require Patreon or YouTube membership. But yeah, there's tons of free channels for discuss. That is not it. That is this current video. <laughs> let me delete that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let me link you to the video you're currently watching. Um, let's see. Edit invite expire in a day. And that way, let's see. And we'll do that many. Yeah, I forget to, I forget to uh, post this. But yeah, I, I need to grow my Discord. So y'all come on in and uh, read the rules. Don't be dickheads. You'll be all right. That's pretty much the only thing, you can, uh, the only rule. I mean, there's a lot of rules, but that's what it, that's what it all boils down to. Um, all right, so I'm going to, what did we do over here? Let me see. Well, first I did shadows and I did that rim light, which I didn't really do anything else with that, but so we'll use that again. Uh, except this time I'm gonna use the rim light layer, but we're gonna use some yellow, orangey colors. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, that's what I meant to do. I'm going to uh, delete this um, background from here because I don't need it. And that way, when I control click that layer, it just selects turtles. That's what we need. Uh, I must be doing something wrong because my Twitter feed is mostly comic books, movie announcements. Um, yeah, like, it just depends on who you follow, I guess. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, <laughs> but but barely. Um, I say every time. Often, often when I go to Twitter, it's not a discussion that I'm interested in. And uh, I, I, get, I get tired of all the drama discussion. So... And I'm just using, I'm switching over to transparency and keeping the same brush. So it's, I'm erasing with a transparent brush. And so that way I never have to change brushes or tools. Excuse me. I agree. Social media can be a terrible mental hassle, so intoxicating, I tell you. There you go. Uh, teach me your ways. I get trashed on there and a thousand posts based on one single thing I liked. <laughs> I'm just here for the chill vibes, man. Yeah, exactly. There we go. One day I will find that uh, Photoshop brush. It's I, I, I linked this earlier, but uh, I'll link it again. Um, if I can find it. There we go. It's in that brush pack. Don't say I never gave you nothing. <laughs> and by giving you something, I mean not giving you something. I mean giving you a link to something. But yeah, it's um, 
But yeah, it's part of Frendon's br big brush pack. Thank you so much no problem uh, i think that's because i'm very careful with what i follow and also set my feed to tweets in their order and somehow it's removed all x replied to y stuff i think that's what i need to do too because i get a bunch of like random person like this tweet i'm like i don't follow them i don't know who they are like <laughs> i mean i i just twitter's not doing anything for me like at all it, like the last video that i posted and i'm not really complaining about it i just i've never liked really twitter it's kind of a necessary evil I'm, so I'm not saying this to complain. I'm just saying like, this is why I don't use it is like, I posted a, a link to the new video about uh, portfolio making that everybody and their brothers asked me about in the last month or two for some reason. And um, so I decided to make a video about portfolios guide to making coloring comic book, coloring portfolios posted on Twitter. It gets like three likes, no retweets. Like, I mean, literally like seven people saw it or something. So like, I don't know if, if, like, I don't know what the five, four, five thousand followers are doing for me. <laughs> they just don't care about that video. Like, it just, if you set your feeds to latest, it curbs the algorithm. And I've tried that too. It keeps setting back, but I need to try that again. But who knows? Who knows? What did I delete there by accident? There we go. All righty. So, what does this look like? Looks too bright, probably. All right, so I'm gonna try, let's do this. Let's do, which layer do I wanna do this on? Oh, you know what I haven't tried, or I don't, haven't tried much. What if, let me make a few selections here so I can see what this looks like. And let's see, new correction, levels, make it brighter, not that much brighter. And I also wanna to go to the blue channel. And do I wanna go cool? That could be cool. I'm trying to decide what color I wanna that's nice. Like, what do I want to use for what is lighting the shadows, I guess, is my current question. That's got a little green to it. Hmm. I kind of like the blue. This looks like it's warmer. I kind of like the warm. Maybe we'll stick with the warm. Let me see what this looks like. If I like scribble in some lighting on this. I think I like it. We're gonna call this uh, Leo lighting to separate it from all the rest of them.
Uh, I can't say the same. I got an insane work offer from someone saying something on Twitter. I should actually fill you in on that later. Yes, you should. Please do. And can I color it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Kidding. Um, but yeah, this is, we're going to do this sort of front on, I think, and see what this looks like. I just basically want to almost uh, this very soft uh, lighting is what I'm thinking about for this part anyway. You should do Raphael emerging from the shadows, <laughs> being the doom and gloom guy that he is. Yeah, we're going to do some really uh, dramatic lighting on him. Your light work is amazing. Well, I appreciate that. I'm trying. I'm trying. I really wanted to try a bunch of different lighting setups on this just to, uh, just to try. <laughs> clip is thinking <clears throat> all right what all did I do over here let's see <laughs> I'm trying to go back and see what I did uh, for the other one next try to keep this in some kind of order um, let's go ahead and do some of these sort of occlusion type shadows, I guess this is. I don't know. I, not everybody thinks about light the way that I do. I realize that. But, um, I do tend to, um, think very, uh, sort of formula. I don't want to say formulaically, but I'll just say, like, there are steps. <laughs> and I just try to follow those. And uh, when I don't, I end up getting lost or overworking too much usually, so. I tend to kind of do everything in stages. It's going to be interesting to try to match the details in the shadows because they won't be quite as much. They just won't be, but I'll try to match it along the edges. Uh, now what? Do this. Questions, comments, concerns? You guys good? Everybody good? Feel free to ask questions anytime. I think I have that on the screen. Uh, yeah, I do. 
Um, otherwise, I'm liable to forget of things to talk about. <laughs> forget what to talk about. And I'm not doing these shadows are just generally softer because the light hitting the front is not as bright. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like the shadows would be harsher if the lighting was harsher. Brighter, but it's not. I might actually do something with the edges on him, maybe? We'll see. Have you ever get an assistant uh, beside a flatter? No, like I, I, I've got my my flatters pretty much do everything I need them to do. Uh, did I watch the pails last night? I fell asleep early last night, very early, very very early, and so uh, I don't know. Was that the late game? I can't remember what he would. What I don't remember what time they played yesterday. I don't think I did watch them. I watched some of the game. I watched uh, I watched the Warriors destroy Denver. They got to like Denver's got problems, man. <laughs> Denver's got problems to figure out. Uh have you tried Severance? Uh I don't have uh I don't have the 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 Apple Plus, I don't think. So I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, just use Instagram and Facebook to drive people to your classes. You provide an insane amount of knowledge bombs without being salesy. Organic growth on social takes time. Yeah, I've been doing it like 10 years, man. It's like, this is, <laughs> it's not like it's new for me. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I'm just, I'm not a, I, I've, 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 I've tried that. I've tried that. It, it's just, I've, my audience is not big enough, I don't think. Um, uh, we've all had late games for like two weeks. Glad they'll finally be home. Yeah, who's playing today? I know this is nothing coloring related, but who is... Uh, let's see who's playing today. Celtics are playing at six. I like the Celtics. I hope they beat the Nets. Uh, 76ers are playing at seven. I'm going to have to decide which game to watch. Uh, I want to see him beat and then win just because of Ben Simmons. I know that's screwed up probably, but... Um, Bulls and Bucks. I want I want Giannis to win another one. Honestly, I think that's who I'm rooting for. Yep. That there's there's my there's the and there is your basketball update. Twelve fifteen. Here on Color with Kurt Network. <laughs> it has they have been boring. I haven't even watched those. Do TikToks. Yeah, I don't want to do TikToks either. You guys see the theme, right? All the things I should be doing are things I don't want to do. Do you see the do you see the problem here? <laughs> it's like hmm all right so let's do some let's do some i'm gonna get some detail on this guy and see where this is headed here We're gonna get a lot of this in these little corners and edges. And then we'll do a little more in the front later. Yeah, this is all just sort of like random, sort of following the contours a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty random. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Yeah, and a lot of times, just to make it simpler for myself, I will kind of intentionally overdo it and then use the brush to, like, rein it in a little bit. It's just easier and faster than worrying about, like, trying to get the perfect little edge. It's like, well, just throw it in there and then erase the edges. Uh, I'm actually excited uh, for uh, the new... Uh, they're basically... looks like they're doing World of Warcraft 2, basically, without calling it that. Um, I watched the... Uh, I used to play that game years ago, like a lot, like a long time ago, back when um, I had more friends around playing those games. And uh, I've always kind of hated the direction that they've taken... Um, and they took a lot of the social aspects of the game. They made them optional, <laughs> basically. It's like, here, click a button, join four people in a thing, and you don't know them, and they don't know you, and blah, blah, you know. Um, are his hands a different color than the rest of them? They are. Let's fix that. There we go. What layer was I just working on? That one. <laughs> I forgot where I was. Again, like I'm really kind of intentionally overdoing it. I just want to cover the full area that I want these things to show up in. And then I'm going to smudge a lot of this together so there's not as much of it. I'm just glad I got you coming to a convention. Yeah, it has been a while. I will be uh, mark your calendars if you're uh, if you're going to uh, what's the name of that con again? Memphis um, <laughs> Memphis Comics Expo uh, in September. I, I hope to meet a lot of people there. That'll be fun. I think I think I, I honestly wonder if I don't have more followers outside the states than I do in. That's definitely a possibility. <laughs> I could probably I could look that up. I'm curious about that. Uh, studio. Let's see where would that be? Analytics. Audience. I think it's an audience. 28% of my audience is from the States. So collectively, the rest of them are more. So number one is the U.S. at 27.9%. And these are just views, view counts. The U.K. is at 3%. That's surprising to me. I don't know why it's... You know, I don't, feel like I talk to more people from other places than there, but that's up there. Uh, Canada is third. Philippines is fourth. Brazil is fifth. India is sixth. Indonesia, France, Germany. That's my top nine. Australia is ten. It's interesting, considering the size, Philippines is, is so high. 
Uh, I'm currently working very slowly on a passion project on my new album. Uh, working titles for the tracks are various colors, last names. Uh, guess who's on the list? Uh, do I? Do, I mean, you're asking me, so I'm, I'm wondering if I'm on the list. Do I get a 10% cut of all sales of that song? Is that how this works? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's cool, dude. That's awesome. I'm, I'm going to hear it. Um, that's like console MMO par G, MMO par parties. I can't talk. MMORPGs. When you join random groups, you get instant in-game group chat. You don't have to fluff around with settings and Discord every time you set up a group. Yeah, they're like really overhauling uh, WoW completely, it sounds like. And it's it's probably been overdue for a while. So I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I might actually have to try it out. I haven't tried it in a while. did do a little bit of a textury thing on Donnie. Let me do that on him too. what else we could do i'm just now realizing if i wanted to because i'm thinking like you know he's he's he looks cool but like he looks dark you can't see him quite as well what if we took this layer which is really just shadows and just on the front lighten this up a little bit maybe I can get on the right layer. Yeah, I think this is helping. Like, I want it to be dark, but not like so dark you can't tell what's going on. Yeah, well, he still looks like he's in the dark, but it's not quite as intense as it was. Uh, I'm watching from Argentina, so you do have quite the international audience. You are a great artist, sir. Thank you, Fernando. I appreciate that. Yeah. I like that Leo's swords are straight like ninja swords and not curved like katanas. Yep. They also have a simple dark suka. I don't know what that is. I saw some fan-made reskins of WoW using Unreal Engine 5. It looked amazing. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, Unreal Engine 5 is going to, like, the the fact that that engine has only been out, what, like a year, a little over a year. I mean, the, the, the developers probably had it before that. But, like, the fact that this stuff's already coming out of that engine looking the way it does, I just, can you imagine what it's going to look like four or five years from now? Uh, or however long the engine goes, like even two or three years from now, like these these developers usually get 
better with time and feeling out the limitations and the strengths of the engine. And so like, that's, what's most exciting to me about unreal engine. It, the new one is because it's just like, it's going to be incredible. Like the stuff they've done with it already looks awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we've got a lot of little details. I haven't done a lot with, so I want to do something there. Uh, I also think I want to, Let's do some like uh, sharp highlights on this. If I can find a layer to do it on. Testing one, two. Why is that not coming out? No, oh, they're already as white as they can get, I think. Oh, there they go. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um, confuse the names. It's the guard. Samurai swords have big, detailed guards where ninja swords are always less flashy. The, the Tasuka? Suka, I don't know how you say that, is the handle. Always confuse them. Martial arts nerds in the house. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. That's cool. I don't, I don't know anything about this stuff, really. Not really. Only what they do in the cartoons with them. <laughs> That's basically it. How long have I been on today? Two and a half hours. See, this is how you know you're having fun. Because I'm not in pain of any kind. It's been two and a half hours without a break. Uh, I definitely now know why I'm so hungry. So um, I think we will probably just plan on finishing this on the next stream. Does that sound like a plan? Maybe we go a little brighter back here. Like, I don't want anybody to feel out of place or stronger or darker or lighter. I, I want them, you know, even though I want to have all these different lighting setups, I, I don't want them to feel too dissimilar from each other because I do want them to... They got to look good for Gavin's banner. I mean, that's really where this is going, Gavin's Twitter banner. That's the important thing. <laughs> Wait until we nerd about uh, Atlas bending styles being inspired by real martial arts styles. We're going to info dump for hours. I don't even know who that is. Who are y'all talking about? Um, I've never played WoW, mainly because of the 1990s graphics. Hey, you take that back, man. It looks just fine the way it is. <laughs> um, yes, it's an old game, dude. Uh, the ninja also used uh, Tsuba like little steps. They'd stab the sword in the ground and quick step over to get over heights. Is that true? Is that real? Do they really do that? That seems like something that I would do in Ninja Gaiden, but not in real life. Or they didn't even do that in Ninja Gaiden. What, what, what was the game that was... Um... Was it Tenchu Z? is the one that pops in my head, but I don't know if that's right or not. Hold on. There was a game... I think it was Tenchu Z. Does anybody remember this game? This game. I'm almost positive this is the one I'm thinking about. Um, but you could four-player co-op. Well, I guess you could probably tell at the back of the game. Uh, let's see. Tenchu Z co-op. Is this the right game? I'm going to make sure I'm in the right game. Yes, it is. It is that game. Y'all talking about this ninja stuff. Um, that was one of the most fun games I've ever had. Like with me and the boys back in the day, would all get in a room on our little, you know, 32 inch tube television. And we'd all get a quarter. 
and I just remember how much fun those games were because we would we would basically like have contests to see who could do the most insane kills and so we would all like we're hanging out as ninjas on like the roof or on the ceiling and watching one guy like that got ahead of us uh, playing on his own that had way more stuff than we did uh you know come down from the ceiling like spider-man and like take somebody's head off or something like those games were really really fun i really i, I missed all those kind of games and and the people i played with them with that's the big part of it i don't know it was i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure it was ten Z is the only one i remember playing I, I didn't like play the whole series or know much about any of the rest of them it was just like a random game we we all one of us got and all of a sudden it was like wait this is super fun and uh but you, they would just drop four ninjas, you know, at the front of the map, and you just ran in together. And like we were, you know, we weren't big on stealth. We were we were big on how many people we could just. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of ninjaing in our ninjas, you know. Couch co-op is sorely missed. You know, there's an entire generation of kids that aren't. They're not gonna get the couch co-op, and I'm actually every generation from here on out, but. They don't understand the couch co-op, man. It's where it's at. If they use their swords as steps, how do they get them back? See? Yeah, exactly. We're poking holes in this now. They had them on a string, pull them back up. Often with cords sent over the... Uh, okay. Okay. Well, maybe I was right. <laughs> they pulled them using a string on the scabbard. Yeah, that is... That is too cool. Too cool. Um, but yeah, I think I, I'm at a good stopping point. We'll do so next time is going to be interesting because we're going to do Donnie getting lit from uh, something. We'll figure him out. I don't really know what to do with him yet. Um, and then uh, Raph, I'm thinking like heavy, like you know, he's going to look like he walked out of the Batman movie. Basically, I think that's my, uh, I think that's the goal there. <laughs> um what else do we need to talk about before we go anything else we covered all the any new interesting uh let me put these since i colored these there we go um any media that i've missed any uh any discussions we need to have before i eat lunch i feel like every couple i know has a switch for this reason it's so obviously something the gaming community wants uh, thank you, Jason. Thank you for your flats, by the way. This was flatted by Jason Finestone Colors. I, sh I, I forgot to... I think I forgot to mention that earlier. But yeah, Jason flatted this. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think we've covered all the... Way. I did start Moon Knight uh, with my wife. And the wife said, you can have this one. <laughs> it was a little too... Um, it's a little too out there, I think. I kind of... I kind of agree with her on the first episode, but I, I want to. I'm I'm trusting Oscar Oscar Isaac's uh, uh, ability to pick roles, and I'm just assuming it's going to get more exciting. I like '90s style Mike. Yeah, this is. Yeah, he's pretty much done. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. '90s style Mike. You just leave him alone. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's out there in a good way. MK is. Yeah, the whole character is out there. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to stick with it myself and see, see what comes out of it. Um, but I, I think I found the limit of, of, of Tina's fandom. <laughs> it's like, all right, until you have Egyptian gods taking over schizophrenics, I was good. <laughs> I'm reserving judgment on Moon Knight until I see how they wrap it up. I'm not so sure. As of episode four. Ooh, okay. Well, that, that tempers my expectations. Uh, so that's good. Man, if you're still not sure at episode four, oh man. I don't know. Um, what else is coming out? Uh, oh, I saw where, um, we talked about Thor is in July. I didn't realize it was that soon. Um, so we are going like, what do you call them? Doctor Strange next month. Right in the the universe of uh, mad multiverses or whatever. What's the name of that movie again? We've got that one, and then two months later we have Thor. So yeah, we we got a good summer, man, coming out. I think all the movies that like nobody wanted to that could put out over COVID have been just piling up, and now they're just getting up them all out. I want to see the Northman. Uh, 
saw a trailer for that. That looks good. Oh, I saw uh, Everywhere, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. What's the name of that movie? Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. I saw that yesterday. It was incredible. I really liked it a lot. It was probably a little... It was like 20, 30 minutes too long. Like, that would be my only complaint about that one. But that is a movie unlike anything else I've ever seen. Like, it is out there. I think that's all the new stuff. We'll have to discuss the rest later because I'm hungry. Hungry. I'm hungry with H-O-N-G-R-Y. Hungry. That's how we. That's how it is. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, check the links in the description, which you all probably know about already. But, yeah, click buttons. Click a button somewhere if you haven't clicked a button. And I will see you all in the next one. It's been fun. Take care.